Jim Holly, Supercross Live, supercrossonline.com, the man who finished up 15. <laughs> Kevin Wyndham, I know you're not happy with that, but yeah, there was a problem. Tell us about it. Yeah, I uh, came out of the turn, and uh, things happened so quick, man. I, I ran smack dab in the, in the James. You know, I was uh, come out of the corner hot, was wanting to move to the front. They had half the track barricaded off, which James was in that area of, of where they had the tough blocks pulled. And I entered the whoops like, you know, business as usual, and he started pushing his bike across, and, uh, you know, I couldn't back out. I, I tried to change lines, but it's hard enough to stay on top top of whoops, much less change speed or direction. So it's one of those things that was unfortunate, man. I was going into uh, what I thought would be a solid second place and uh, wanted to put my sights on uh, on Grant, who rode a good race, and you know, everything kind of was falling into place for me until, uh, until the impact. You know, a lot of people ask me, they go, man, does, where's Kevin looking at when he's, didn't he see James? But it, it's not a problem. You saw him. It's just you can't back out once you're committed into the whoops. Well, I watched the replay over and over again. And, and to be honest with you, uh, you know, I've, I've heard his uh, post-race uh, wrap-ups on stuff like this. And, uh, you know, I heard him saying that I said that I was sorry. And, in, in fact, I did. Whenever I, whenever I hit him, I was like, dude, I'm sorry. That sucks. And all these different things. And I started watching the replay. And uh, he didn't look left. He never looked left. And, and when I came out of the corner, he was not yet moving. So with the way the banners were and the way they had them barricaded off, you know, I, I would have never, there was no reason for him to move. He was in his little safe haven where, where there was no reason. But, you know, in, in racing, just like I thought that there was a, a possibility I was in the wrong after watching replay, I, you know, I, I rest assured that I was not. And, you know, it's just one of those things that racing incidents and they happen, and I hope that they don't happen again because uh, it took me out of a good, good potential. I think a rider like James can make up those points way easier than I can. And I, I, I had really put myself in a good position to, to make some ground and, uh, to, to be in a fight for the for uh, you know a, a successful season and now I got to put my head down and work that much harder. The bike working good for you? I knew the, the Honda's fuel injector. I've asked everybody and they're just happy with the fuel injection. Yeah, we are. We all are, and we've been working hard to uh, get the bike set up for me. I, I think I ride with a little bit more aggressive power than, than most, and uh, we, we've been working hard. And I think the bike's where it needs to be. I'm, I'm anxious to uh, have a good showing here in Phoenix, and uh, felt like I was on my way to one in Anaheim and. Yeah, that's all we can do is just take it race by race and uh, try to try to put the Honda up front. You heard it from Kevin Wyndham. He's going to try to put that Honda up front.